and then surrounding the testicle is the epididymis. This is the head of the epididymis, the body of the epididymis, and down here is the tail of the epididymis. You find the tail of the epididymis, you can find the gubernaculum. Okay, that's where it is. And then here we have that pampiniform plexus coming in. And you can see there's a lot of blood supply supplying the testicle. But this is the gubern I'm sorry, this is the pampiniform plexus here. Not as pretty as I wanted to see it, but it's still there. It's like this thickening, it looks kind of dark in color. Okay, so we went through the testicle. Okay, so now we kind of go back up in here in the region of the penis. Okay, so what is this little pouchy thing right here? That's a bladder. Mm -hmm. That is the urinary bladder. These two funky, like, cloud-looking things are the vesicular glands. Embedded within the vesicular gland is this here. This is the coagulating gland. So when you, if you have a male, when you open him up, the coagulating gland is going to be adhered to the vesicular gland. See, it's going to look more like that. And you're just going to have to kind of separate them out together. So, vesicular gland, coagulating gland. They look quite different from one another. To me, one looks like a cloud, the other one not so much like a cloud. Then here, we have another gland here. The prostate. Okay, there's the prostate. Here and here. Don't confuse the prostate with the urinary bladder. They're really close to one another. Here is the penis. These are the bulbs of the penis down here. So the bulbs of the penis. This is in between the bulbs of the penis, you have a muscle. This is the bulbous cavernosus muscle. It has two sides too. So I can split it here and here. The bulbous cavernosus muscle, the bulbs of the penis, and then here is the ischiocavernosus muscle, here and here. Okay, ischiocavernosus muscle, bulbocavernosus muscle, the bulbs of the penis. Then there's one more gland that you need to find. Now you need to push, kind of need to dig in there. It's going to be between or kind of under the bulbs of the penis and the ischiocavernosus muscle. Can you see that little white thing there? It looks kind of like an egg. Yeah. Okay. That's another one of the glands, and that is the bulbal urethral gland. The little white, see that little white thing? Oh. So how are you guys going to point this out during the practical? In it. Pin it? Pin it. Yeah, It'll be moved away. Okay. It'll be cleaned up and moved away. So you'll be able to see. You're not going to be like, oh, I need a probe. You know, it's going to be out there for you to see. Okay, so it's, it's not going to be like, oh, yeah, where is it? And there's going to be a pin way in the back. It'll be nice. It'll be in view. Okay. Okay? So, again, that's the bulbal urethral gland. It looks like a little egg, like a white egg in there. Do you guys see it in there? Okay, there it is there. And so then that's the bulbal urethral gland, the ischiocavernosus muscles, they lie on the top. And then you have in the middle, it has two lobes, that's the bulbar cavernosus muscle. And then finally in the bottom, you have the bulbs of the penis. And then of course you have the penis. All right, and then here you have the anus here, and then the rectum. And then there he is. That's what you need to know. Okay, so it's not too bad.